Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. Uh, what I want to teach everybody today is um, I had to use the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator and uh, clip out images uh, with the pen tool. So um, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos uh, coming up on the pen tool. I'm going to get more into the basics and other ones. Uh, but in here I'm going to really uh, teach you a couple technical things that you can do uh, when clipping out images in uh, Adobe Illustrator. So um, back in the past or you know another way of doing this which you can still do now uh, which I still do now sometimes uh, I kind of just use it up to my discretion is I'll get an image from a client and I'll pull it into Illustrator I'll pull it into Photoshop first I'll make sure it's it's color corrected then I'll save it and I will then do my clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator well at certain points um, I used to do my clipping masks in Photoshop add my shadows in Photoshop but I felt it was adding um, uh, an extra step for me to do uh, because if I had to make a change, I had to go back into Photoshop to change the shadow a little bit. Then I'd hit save. Then I have to come back to Illustrator and then I'd have to update my image uh, because I made a change outside of Illustrator. So I try to do uh, as much as I can in Illustrator. Uh, the bulk of my business right now is in layout design and uh, I do a little bit of web design, um, but obviously all my graphics uh, that I do for web design come out of Illustrator. So, but the mo the main my main uh, my main program I work in right now is Illustrator because of the amount of work that I do in it. So, I am going to be coming out with a lot of videos on Photoshop though because Photoshop is also a very strong uh, image enhancing uh, and image affecting type of a program. There's just some crazy cool things you can do with that also. So, um, in this image, this is a client. Uh, this is a client of mine. Um, who I designed a menu for and uh, I'm going to show you how to take these images and clip them out and we're going to put them back actually I'm going to just do one image today um, out of the three that are on here if I zoom out you can see this uh, I'm going to take one of these images and clip it out um, so you can see um, different ways of using the pen tool so this is all about using the pen tool this has nothing to do with menu design uh, just so you know so um, all right, so when I come over to this image right here and I click it, you're going to notice two things. You're going to see an outline right here, if you follow my mouse, and you're going to see an outline around the whole image. The outline around the image is the clipping mask, and the outline that I first went around is the actual photo that was there before we did a clipping mask. And I'll show you that by, uh, you can either right click on a PC or on your Mac, go to control click and go to release clipping mask. And the other way you can do it is go to Object, Clipping Mask, Release. Okay, so now we're gonna click off of this and you're gonna notice that uh, this is the original image of this, of this uh, gyro on a plate on a table. So obviously we took the table out. And if I marquee both of these like that, you're gonna see where that clipping mask was and now all we have to do to get it back is we just got to go back up to object clipping mask make and it's going to recreate that but this time it actually took the shadow away so uh, I'm just trying to get you to understand what's behind it and uh, same deal with this one over here alright we're gonna release clipping mask there's a photo behind it I'm gonna undo that by hitting command Z or control Z on a PC um, same thing with the fries we're gonna release the clipping mask and that's what you get so let me back up for a minute what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is show you how to take this image right here and let me just get rid of these real quick okay and I'm gonna delete this right here all right because we're gonna redo this whole thing over here using the pen tool and this isn't a very crazy uh, graphic to use so this is gonna be this is gonna be a good one so um, when I worked in my internship we used to uh, it was for uh, a company that um, did like uh, uh, was it like tiles and, and marble and stuff like that and uh, there were these big machines that you you know used to like cutting them and stuff like that and I used to get these images all the time and I have to clip these things out and some of these images took a half hour to clip out we're gonna do this image in a couple minutes so 
Um, it was actually kind of uh, it was kind of like a, a Karate Kid wax wax on wax off type of deal. Uh, I was getting really sick of doing this stuff uh, because every day I would be handing this stuff, and for about six or seven hours, uh, maybe I'm embellishing, maybe six <laughs> uh, hours a day. Um, I was making clipping masks of these machines because, uh, you know, there was a lot of negative space in areas where, you know, I couldn't just go around the outside of the machine. I had to go within the middle of the picture and cut stuff out. So, uh, you know, I got really good at doing this stuff just because of that. So, like I said, it was like the Karate Kid type of deal. But in the end, I got very happy because I got very good at this stuff. So, um, what I'm going to do here is click, the, uh, click on this image. I'm going to make sure it's locked because I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to be uh, using the pen tool right on top of the image, and I don't want it, anything to be interfered in the image. So I'm going to go to Command and then the number 2, or you can go over to Object and then Lock Selection, all right? That's if you look right next to it, it's going to show you the keyboard command. It's Command 2, or on a PC, it's Control, I believe, Control 2, all right? So that's locked. No matter what I do, I can't select this right now unless I unlock it. We're gonna come up here to the pen tool. You can either hit the letter P or you can just go and click it. And I'm going to, uh, there's a number of ways I could do this clipping mask. I can zoom in by hitting this, holding the space bar and command. Uh, you see what happens? I hold down the space bar, it turns into a hand. Now I hit the command or the control on a PC and I'm gonna zoom in, all right, on that corner and now Coming back to the pen tool, see it never it never left the pen tool when I went to the zoom tool. It I zoomed and then it just went right back to the tool I was using. So that's a good thing to know. Um, you're gonna want to click, and the traditional way that I would do this this clipping mask is I would just click along here, and you don't gotta click every you know little thing like that. Because the, the less points in a clipping mask is actually the better. You don't want to have too many points because uh, your curves are not going to be perfect, as perfect as you want. So I would actually come all the way over here and, and pull this point right here. And when you click, just notice, click, hold down, and you can do all types of things. Um, just know that wherever you let go is where that is going to make that stroke for you. So um, we're going to come back here and actually I'm going to put a, a black stroke on this so you can see this in action uh, every time I click I'm going to pull to the right in this case or left and so it gives me the desired uh, curve that I want so I'm gonna click and I'm gonna pull that out a little bit I'm going to click again and then I'm gonna come over here and click again all right so but in this tutorial like I said I'm not going to do this tr the traditional way because I'm going to do this a way that's going to make you learn how to use the pen tool so I am going to click on the pen tool and I am going to click from this corner uh, to this point all right and I'm gonna click here I'm going to make this a box Actually, you know what, I'll do that, like that. And I'm going to come here, here, and here, and there. Okay, so why the hell did I just do that? All right, I'm gonna show you that now that I have the structure of the whole piece, I can add points and delete points later on using the plus and the minus button on the keyboard. So right here, uh, if you do not know about selections and the direct selection arrow, you're going to want to go and watch my tutorial uh, on the selection arrows uh, because what we're going to do here is we're either going to hold down this, this pen right here. We're going to click and hold down and we'll get a couple of other options. You can hit the plus or the minus or on your keyboard you can hit plus and watch what happens to my pen tool, right? right you see this little pen tool? Plus, minus. So you're going to see a big change in uh, obviously the options when you do that. So um, we're gonna hit plus and we're gonna add a point right here. Now watch, if I miss the line, it's going to say please use the add anchor point tool on the segment of a path. So okay, we're gonna click it right on the path and now it's gonna select the whole path because it knows that you're interacting with it. And we're gonna hit the letter A for the direct selection and we're just gonna click this little point right here and we're gonna pull it inwards. Now. 
if you're looking at this, you're going to say, well, it's still a hard edge. It's, you know, it's, it's coming to a point right here and it's sharply going over there. We want to make sure this makes a nice curve. So the only way you can do this is by either hitting shift and then the letter C. Okay, shift and then the letter C is going to give you this tool called the convert anchor point tool. Um, actually, I'm going to be doing a, a tutorial um, pretty soon on all types of good keyboard commands. So what you would actually do is if you don't know that keyboard command, you would just come in here and select this. And when you select this point, click and hold down. Now move your mouse around just to get a, a kind of an idea of what it's doing. It's adding it's adding the ability to make a curve and totally transform the point that you just made. So I am going to let go there and there you go. There is your curve. So we're going to come up here and do the same thing. We're not going to, we're going to don't show again because if you miss, you're going to keep having to click that. So make sure we get it on the line. We're going to hit a for the direct selection. Now we're going to do shift C again, and that's going to make that curve. And we're gonna make that nice curve over there. Pull that point up a little bit with the direct selection. Okay. All right. Same thing with these corner points. If you just see what just happened with that corner, it went from a hard edge corner to a nice soft corner like that. And now we're gonna do that. We're gonna do this, these, these big areas first, okay? And so that's the same thing, adding a point. And we're going to manipulate the point using the Shift C, okay? Which is also the Convert Anchor Point tool. But learn these keyboard commands. Never let your left hand leave the keyboard. Always have it stationary right on your keyboard, okay? All right, now over here, this is a little bit tricky over here. What we're gonna do is we're going to add a point, okay? And we're going to do the same thing. All right, but now in some cases, let's see what happens. You can, I always say the less points are the better. So if you can take points away and start to mess with them, do so. So try taking this point away. And if you see, now you can pull this out. In this case, you can't do it on this corner. So I would advise leaving that point in. Now we're gonna come over here and we're going to add a point. I keep hitting the plus tool on my keyboard to give me that plus to make that point. And then I keep hitting the A. So I can pull this out, then Shift C is going to let me pull this. Now I hit the A to pull one of these anchors. These anchors that hang off here, you can select these individually, the left one or the right one, but it is going to affect what you do on the one side, it's gonna affect the other side somehow. So you're just playing around with curves and really seeing what works for you in this case for your image that you're trying to clip out or for whatever you're actually trying to draw with the pen tool because pen tool isn't always about images too. Um, you wanna make sure that you're doing this convert tool on each point because um, they're all pretty rough edges right now. So. Same thing with this guy, and I am running out of time, so I'm gonna make this real quick. I'm gonna pull this guy in using the direct selection arrow, not the convert tool anymore. And now we got our clipping mask. The last thing I need to do is I need to select these two images, right click, make clipping mask, pull this baby into our layout, okay? And add a drop shadow on there. So for right now, I'm just gonna kinda add anything. And hit okay. So that's it on, on using the pencil to create clipping masks. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, this is graphicdesignertips.com. Visit our website um, to learn more about this stuff. Like I said, I'm going to be putting a lot more tutorials out about the pen tool. But um, that's it. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night. Peace.